Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about um, me handling um, my tarantulas. I will be using two tarantulas in this video, one of them being a full-grown tarantula and the other one being a sling. So yeah, let's get into the video right now. So I will be using my Alfomino Pelmo Calcote. Uh, her name is Hazel as today's model. So let's get this open. So she is in this little hide, if not mistaken. Yep. And she also has a little molt. She just molted maybe uh, two, three weeks ago. Would you like to come out, please? Come here. Come here. The first thing you want to be aware of when you handle tarantulas is to keep them close to the ground when you handle them because their abdomen is comparable to a water balloon. If they fall from a certain height, they can die from the fall. And right now you're seeing me removing Hazel from her little home using a catch cup. Which brings me to my second point of removing the tarantula from its environment because nobody wants to be grabbed while sitting at home. The reason why I chose to use a catch cup is because I don't want the tarantula to mistake me for food if I reach my hand in there directly. If you notice, I'm using one hand in front of my other hand as a little ladder for the tarantula. Sometimes the tarantula will sit in your hand and not move at all, but sometimes they prefer to take a little walk. While handling your tarantula, it's also important to observe how your tarantula is behaving while handling. You see Hazel here is walking very slow and calm, but do know when to stop handling when the tarantula is starting to act skittish and start running. One thing that I always believe in is if you stay calm, the animal will likely be calm as well. But if for whatever reason they're not acting calm, maybe it's time to let them go back to their enclosure. Just keep in mind that handling a tarantula is simply for our own pleasure. The tarantula would not benefit from it, so it's important to pay them a little respect if they do want to go back to their little home. I personally do not handle my tarantulas very often. It pretty much only happens when they walk onto my hand while rehousing or unboxing. And here I thought Hazel is a little tired of my hand, so I let her take a little walk on the floor. Now that I think about the name that I gave her, which is Hazel, it's pretty fitting for her colors and now she looks even better after molting recently. Even though I had lots of fun handling her and she wasn't really stressed out because of it, but now it's time to put her back into her little home. It's time to put you back. Oh, I don't want to put you back. You're so gorgeous. But, um, yeah. Something very important, remember to wash your hand after handling your tarantula, especially if they're a new world tarantula. And now I will be showing you how I handle my slings and I will be using my Grandma Stola Rosea as my little model today. I start by using a paintbrush to prop her out from the enclosure onto my hand. Remember to use something soft to prop the tarantula. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can use something like a makeup brush or even a feather. And if you're using a makeup brush, make sure there's no makeup on it. After the tarantula gets on your hand, just enjoy the view and follow the general guideline that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Number one, keep the tarantula close to the ground and I skipped the catch cup part because I was getting a little lazy because I don't think I was gonna get bit by a sling. After you're done handling, prop the tarantula back into its enclosure the same way you propped it out, which is using a soft object to boop the tarantula into the direction you want it to go. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!